I'm a voice actor, and while I'm a pro at talking to myself in a locked room all day, there's something that I've never really gotten good at. Typing. Seriously, I make typewriting monkeys look like chat GTP. My keyboard refuses to even acknowledge me anymore. Hey keyboard, how are you today? But after scouring the internet, I found the perfect solution. A typing game featuring anthropomorphic animals, catchy songs, and best of all, targeted towards second graders. It was perfect. Except for these really annoying sound effects. Me next! Oops. Me next! Type on Type on me. Me. Type on me. But I can't play this game without some form of auditory stimulation. I will be voice acting every letter with a different impression. My computer will then play those clips back to me as I type them, using sound to further imprint that muscle memory in my brain. And my hope is that by the end of this video I won't just be a better voice actor, but an accomplished typist who is finally worthy of my keyboard's attention. In the first level of the game, Gary the Goat introduces the home row, or as I like to call it, as if it could just go, semicolon. So right off the bat, we need nine sound effects including the spacebar. Typing! Typing! Zoinks! <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Luigi time. Semicolon. Spacebar. My heart instantly swelled with pride over this first accomplishment. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Semicolon. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. It sounded awful. But we aren't finished with this stage just yet. Halfway through the home row, we meet H and G. So, Asjifagajagal semicolon is now Asjifagajagal semicolon. Hit on the H! Hit on the G! Rasa! Ain't it easy as rock can be? Next, I enlisted some help from Elmer Fudd. You wascoey wabbit, you! and Inspector Gadget. Go, go, Gadget Keyboard! And we sang opera with a squid who's down bad for an Italian octopus. Can I come back to your place? Send me a C-mail sometime. Bellissimo. But hold on, are you ready? Because R and U are next. Voiced by Captain Rex. For our brothers! And Uncle Grandpa. Good morning. Thanks, American Rooster Hick Guy. With the first level completed, I had already voice acted the entire middle row of my keyboard, and then some. But there was still a long journey ahead, and my keyboard's friendship still hung in the balance. The next level introduces T and Y, and after recording Toad ah! and Yoda with the force I flow, I ran into this thing. Hello, hippos. I'm your dainty type dance person. Come into the tent. She's beautiful. After that, I met the Teenage Meathead Punk Dude Turtles. Wario. Hello there. Wario and Obi-Wan are now part of our team. After a quick Google search, I recorded Quick the Rabbit. Ever notice when you make him quick? You stir it till it's nice and thick and parry the platypus. <laughs> and the three of us danced the flamingo with a flamenco. My knees hurt when I find the fandangle. My long legs get all of a tangle. And for those who are wondering, yes, I am sparing your ears here a little bit, but this is what my keyboard sounds like. You you Right? No wonder I'm getting better at typing. I was now halfway done with my typing journey. I had a fire in my heart, the power of 20 friends standing behind me, and a new role model. I wish I was him so bad. Level three consisted of a yak, a giraffe, and a bee, who for some reason isn't the one who teaches you the letter B? I mean, come on, it's so obvious. The corresponding letters came as follows. You underestimate the power of the dark side. It's a me, Mario, wahoo. Hey, Dinnabelle, I'll do this with my hands. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, my dad can't eat bananas. They make him bloaty. With the third level behind me, I came to realize something. 
With every single recording I made, I was adding another color to this portrait of my terrible impressions. I was confident my keyboard would eventually notice my masterpiece, and then we would be friends. So, with three stages left in the game, I put my hat on backwards and went to work. My name is Charles Xavier. The Morning Report. And I turned my microphone off. I was ready to finish this game. And to be honest, the last three levels were kind of a blur. All I can remember was a short montage of sound effects and classical music. One hour later, I finally beat the levels of dance mat typing. And now, it was time to face my final challenge, an online typing speed test. Unfortunately, Wikipedia says that professional typists typically type at speeds of 43 to 80 words per minute. And I had absolutely crushed it at 76 words per minute. I had proved to the world and my keyboard that typing ability can be attained through voice acting. And the fact that I played this game from beginning to end has nothing to do with it, I'm sure. It was just the voice acting. That's it. That's all. So, what did I learn from this experience? A few things, really. I didn't need my keyboard's approval after all. I had made my own friends on this journey and had experienced something that would soon become a timeless memory. I voice acted my keys and reattached them to my keyboard, essentially forcing it to be my friend. I guess what I'm really trying to say here is, if you aren't happy with how your friends act, all it takes is a little persistence and a lot of creativity and you can force them to change who they are. With that lesson in mind, I turned my soundboard on and sat down to write this script. 